I am Jay Waimara. I am originally a Cairns boy. My mob is Gurung Yare Kenu as well as Saibai Karal and Maryam Murray Island, depending on you know which side of my grandparents I'm referring to. I got into Deadly Funny by actually competing in the Victorian heat. I was meant to compete in one of the other heats, but black fuller time prevails and I missed it. Honestly, it's something I've always wanted to do, so that's reason enough, I think. I would describe my own comedy style as subversive, uh, a little bit cheeky, uh, definitely uh, tad political, as well as, you know, just, uh, just fun, playful, that kind of thing. I've been doing it for a while now, so I like to think that I've got a nice way of crafting it down. My favourite thing about getting up and performing in front of an audience is the kind of laughter that starts at the front. It ripples all the way to the back of the room and then comes all the way flooding back to you. And you can tell when that joke has, been, has landed and everyone gets it and they're just laughing for the briefest of moments, everyone is completely free of concern. And that's why, I think that's really the main reason why I do this. Jay Never works until now. <laughs> How you doing, Forum? You good? <laughs> oh my God! Wow. Seriously, there are so many chocolate brothers and sisters here tonight. <laughs> this isn't a gig. This is a family reunion, is what this is. <laughs> Seriously, with this many black fellas here, the Forum can apply for more funding next year. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep it; it'd be worth something one day. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a Queensland boy originally uh, from far north Queensland in Cairns. <laughs> Is anybody here from Cairns? <laughs> Two people, nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I'm, I'm proud of where, my heritage. Really, I am. Like, I'm proud of my Nutella-coloured skin. Really, I am, yeah. And like a good jar of Nutella, I spread when I'm hot. <laughs> the government will need to pledge millions to close this gap. <laughs> Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> yeah, so, so if you haven't worked out, I'm from the Torres Strait, sorry, Torres Queer. <laughs> like initially I came out as like, you know, Torres gay and I gotta be honest, that's nowhere near as catchy. But in my sexual discovery, what I found is that I'm actually pansexual. Now, don't get ahead of me. I don't get freaky with fry pans. <laughs> but if we had a good night, I'll make you breakfast. <laughs> And I reckon black fellas have been queer for ages. We were built this way. I swear to God, for ages. You know how I know? Two words, rainbow, serpent. <laughs> Brrr. <laughs> uh, but that's the thing, never make assumptions about black fellas. You should never ever do that in your entire lives. Do not do that. Because nobody's just one thing. You understand what I mean? Nobody's just one thing. We are a conflation of all kinds of things. I have, I'll have you know that I am a massive Lord of the Rings fan. And the problem is I'm the only one like in my family who's, well, okay, not true. Me and my brother are actually the only hardcore fans in the family, which means even in our own family, we're still the Tolkien black guys. <laughs> it took me three weeks to write that. <laughs> Melbourne, that's all I'm good for. Thank you so much. Yeah.